Hey guys, my name is Jesse Mew, and welcome back to Wolf Quest. In the last episode, B began his adventures in the Amethyst Mountains. His quest is to find a me, but first we need to take down enough of these elks so that we're master hunters, because right now none of the other wolves are too interested in getting to know him. So let's go back to the elk hunting grounds, I guess. We're actually at about 400 experience points right now, and we learned in the last episode that we need 800 to fully impress a wolf. So we're about halfway there, and I mean, so far he's doing an excellent job. We named him B because we figured he'd be like, pretty clumsy, so most creatures would call him Bumble, but he hasn't really been living up to that name, so we must be trying really hard to fix that reputation. It looks like we have another coyote in the distance. Or is that a fox, maybe? It does have an awfully long tail. Yeah, it looks like it's another one of the foxes. Well, we haven't taken down a fox yet, but we did very, very recently take down one of the coyotes. It really wasn't that hard to do, and there wasn't much of a reason for it either. They don't really give us that many experience points, so I think we're going to leave the fox where he is. But... Wait a second, did you hear that? Was that the fox? That was a strange sound. I was going to see if we could maybe find some of the elk out here. The plumes of smoke that you see in the distance are just the carcasses, so we don't really need to concern ourselves with that. B should be fine to keep going a little bit longer. His health hasn't gone down that much. But yeah, basically we're looking for those tiny little purple dots because those should lead us toward the elk herd. I still don't see anything though. Like sometimes these are pretty tricky to track down. I don't know, maybe it would just be easier for us to use our own eyes. Oh my gosh, really? Yeah, they're right there. It must just be tricky for me to see them when we're in that black and white view. But yeah, I'm surprised we didn't actually see the scent markers. So the way we've been doing this so far is we try to find one of the weaker elks and just lead her off in a different direction. That way the rest of the herd won't be able to help her. This is a pretty big herd actually. And look at that, there's another one of those male elks. Yeah, we're gonna steer clear of him. I don't think our little wolf is ready to take on a male elk yet. So do you see any of the older ones? It kind of seems like the older elks have like a whiter bottom, if that makes sense. Like they're a little bit more gray than the others. If we pick the wrong one, then they will actually turn around and attack us, so we want to be careful. Alright, I guess let's just go for it. Let's see if one of them tries to scatter. Maybe this one right here? Yes, I think we could probably get this one. Alright, it looks like she's going off into the trees. She's kind of veering back toward the rest of the herd though. Oh no! Straight through the herd! I don't think we took too much damage from that one, though. We are getting a little bit tired. Let's take a rest. Oh my gosh, we are really, really close to the rest. We have another elk over there, but let's try to catch up to our previous target. I think it was the one in the front. Yeah, 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 we know how to rest and sleep. We're not going to be sleeping yet, though. We're kind of busy right now. All right, take another breather, B. It looks like she might be far enough away now that we won't have to worry about the rest of the herd. Yeah, I don't think they follow us. I think once one of the elk goes off on their own, they are pretty much fending for themselves at that point. There we go, P. It's time for you to shine. So if we just go straight in and attack as fast as we can, that seems to be the best way to do it. Like, I know our poor little wolf is getting pretty hurt at this point with those giant hooves just slamming down on him. But if we back up, it seems to give her more of a chance to actually land her attacks. I'm sure we'll become much more efficient hunters in the future. Like maybe there is actually a little tip that I'm missing. But there is one more elk in the back. So we should have 500 points now. That means we only have three more elk to hunt. Well, let's go straight back toward the herd then. Let's go straight in for the next kill. There were quite a few old elk wandering around the place. So if we could find another one. Since they all do kind of gravitate back toward each other once the danger is gone, there's no use trying to hunt them down like one by one scattered throughout the forest. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is a feisty elk leading us straight back through her family. This might be your toughest challenge yet, Bumble. She keeps zigzagging through the trees, going straight back through her herd. Okay, take a very quick rest. Looks like we brought up some emote screen. We don't need that. We don't need to be waving to our elk friend here. I don't think they want us to play with our food. There we go, elk number six. Yes, excellent job, B. 
Oh, your victories are going to be heard all throughout the Amethyst Mountain. I would imagine that some of the other wolf packs must have heard of your victories by now. So maybe you'll be more likely to meet a potential mate as soon as you're ready. Yeah, we should be at about 600 experience points now. If we go to the stats screen, then we can see 625. And of course, the 25 is from the coyote that we found the day before. So we've been sticking around this hunting ground so far. I don't know, do you think we should try a different one? There are some other hunting grounds over in this direction. I can see the elk on the compass way up in the corner. We might as well give it a try, like I am curious about what else we can discover here. I don't want to stay in one location for too long, you know? B is here to carve out his own place in the world, so he wants to go explore. What's up with this forest, though? It looks like it's completely bare of leaves. Oh, they're all just like little twigs? That's kind of menacing, actually. I don't know, do we want to go this way? Do you think maybe it's going to be a little bit more difficult for us to hunt down the elk in these parts? Well, let's see if we can find them first. I mean, I guess without the leaves, it would actually be a little bit easier for us to see them, but it must be easier for them to see us too. Luckily, I think the wind is actually in our favor this time. It looks like that windy icon is blowing straight toward us. So I think that means that our scent shouldn't be carried toward the elk, right? I'm still not 100% sure, but that's what I'm gonna go with. So we're back inside the elk hunting ground. Let's see what we can find for scents. Six minutes ago, it looks like an elk went in this direction. It's gotta be the other way. It looks like they're starting to fade once we get closer to the edge of the territory. So let's follow it this way. Yeah, now they're definitely getting stronger. So I don't think these elk are even in the forest. They're kind of out in the wide open plains. Oh my goodness. Look at that giant elk herd. All right, and I definitely see some antlers in there. So it looks like they have a big bad male taking care of them. We are steering clear of you yet again. So yeah, the lighter colored elk. Are those the ones that we need to go after? Maybe that means that they're older? Because so far the darker colored ones have always turned around and tried to kick me. Then again, it might just be the lighting. Okay, it, it might just be the lighting. Maybe I'm crazy. Well, that one right in front of us does have quite a bit of health taken off of her. So maybe she would be a good one for us to go after. Yeah, we just need to find the ones that are actually going to scatter. Oh my gosh, and that was not it. All right, this one way up there. There's actually three that are running away from us right now. Let's pick the one off to the right though, since that's where our arrow is pointing. We'll try to grab her first. I mean, honestly, it would be pretty good if we could chase all of these elk out into the plains. That way we could take down the rest as soon as we're done with this one. Looks like Bee is already getting pretty tired though. Take a breather, my little Bee. We should still be able to catch up to her, so don't worry about it. There are some interesting trees out this way too. Like, I'm kind of wondering if we're going to run into any other dangers. So far, we've pretty much been the most dangerous thing in the forest. So it makes me a little bit concerned that there might be more to this place than we know. And we're kicking up the dust out here too. Do you see that? All right, let's land our last couple of attacks here. And then it should be time for us to fight. So after this, it's just one more elk before we can go out trying to find our own mate. Go ahead, B. Take her down. One more bite ought to do it. There we go. Yeah, this place is actually quite a bit more easy for us to hunt in because I can already see the elk way off in the distance. But this should be the last one, so let's go in. Let's go all in now. Give it everything you've got, B. We'll give him just a tiny moment to rest. That way he'll have all of his energy. I know he's not super tired, but I want every last little bit for this hunt. Let's go to the left and see if we can get that one way at the front to scatter. Nope, she is standing her ground. Alright, so she's one of the more healthy elks. Maybe one of these over here would be a better choice? There we go, we've got her on the run. Alright, this is gonna be it. I can feel it be. Yes, there we go. Alright, so that should be it, right? After we go ahead and eat some of this meat over here, I think we should have enough experience points to actually go into one of the enemy wolf's territory and try to find one of their dispersal wolves. All right, we have 825 experience points. So last time we went into enemy territory, they told us that we only need 800 to progress. 
So let's see if we can do it, I guess. I think I want to go up toward the northern packs, this one by the northeast, because it might be easier for us to evade detection. I was a little bit worried about the direction of the wind last time, because it seemed like it was carrying our scent straight toward the enemy wolves. So if we're going to be trespassing, if we're going to be sneaking around somebody else's home, we probably want to make sure that we're well hidden. The one nice thing about the southern pack was that they were in the forest, so again, it might be a little bit easier for us to hide. But I don't know, this will be a good way for us to spot out the wolves, and hopefully the coyotes too. Maybe it'll be easier for us to tell them apart. So here's our Stranger Wolf's territory. We have indeed earned at least 800 XP by hunting down the elk. So let's see if we can find anything new out here. That should be the marker that shows where the territory starts. So I guess let's just go a little bit deeper. Like I'm super nervous, especially inside this view, since it's so hard for me to see anything out in the land. Ooh, what was that? Wait a second. Something was definitely in the bushes. Unless that was just us going through them. That was a bit mysterious. Oh my gosh! A dispersal female wolf? Hello! Oh my gosh! Oh, she's so pretty! Alright, so we have to impress her. Okay, so I guess these are our choices. Do I know you? Maybe we can get her name? Oh no, we scared her off! Oh, that is so sad! Oh, Bumble! Master Hunter, and yet he can't impress the heart of a lady! So we're looking for a mate now. You haven't found a mate yet, but there are a lot of good wolves out there still. You'll do better if you gain experience by hunting elk. Yeah, we know that. We've already gotten there. Your ideal mate is about two years old, a dispersal wolf like yourself, and has a good temperament. Not too aggressive. Alright, that seems easy enough. But I guess the wolf that we found is actually pretty skittish. Like, we were just trying to get your name, little one. Oh, I can't even find her scent anymore. Yeah, I'm not seeing any colors out here aside from the carcasses way off in the distance. So I think we're probably just going to have to try to spot them ourselves. Do you think we can find her again, though? Like, I'm pretty sure she ran off in this direction, so let's see if we have any luck. No, I don't see her anywhere. Oh, I think she might be gone for good. Do you think maybe we have to, like, become even more skilled in hunting before the wolves are likely to become our partner? Like, maybe 800 is just the minimum? We should probably keep in mind that we will need to keep an eye on our hunger anyways. If we start to get too hungry, then we better go searching for some carcasses to munch on. And preferably a carcass that is not in enemy territory, because I don't think that's going to make them too happy. Oh, I don't see a single marker out here. I think we're actually outside of the wolf's territory now. Ooh. Here is something. Oh, this is the territory marker. So this shows where their territory actually is. Where it ends, basically. Is this the same thing? Ooh, there are a lot of territory markers over here. I mean, would that actually lead us straight toward a wolf? Wait a second, wait a second. Yes! Oh. Oh, you are not our friend. Okay. That's a slew male. Something tells me he is not going to be too happy to see us. Can we interact with him? Okay, so he's not going to fight us just yet. Uh, I'm no threat to you. We're just looking for a certain pretty little lady. Okay, so he says I'll stay put. Uh, I don't want to say do I know you because that did not go well with the other one. You're stronger than I am, should we say that? Like, that would at least show that we are not going to come in here and attack him, so hopefully that means he won't attack us. Hopefully he won't take that as like, okay, then I'll just bulldoze right through you. What's he gonna say? Oh, get going! Oh no, beer! Okay, I'll be going now. We're out of here. Jeez, do you think that was like that female wolf's father? That would explain why he doesn't want us hanging around, I guess. Well, I think you're gonna have to try to find one of the carcasses, V. We're lucky that there are so many carcasses out here. I wonder if a lot of these are just the carcasses that we've left behind. Like, we are actually getting pretty close to the forest again, and I think that's where we were hunting before. So we should have a carcass directly in front of us. 
I wonder if they go bad after a certain time though? I have noticed that some scavenger birds are coming down too to pick clean the carcass, so I'd imagine after some time we just can't use it anymore. Looks like this one is still fresh for the taking though, so go ahead and eat your fill, and then we'll go back into the Stranger Wolf's territory and try to find that lady again. Since all of the scent markers were leading toward the male though, it makes me think that we probably shouldn't follow those. I mean, that makes sense, he would be the one leaving all of the markings of course. The thing is, I didn't see any marks for a dispersal wolf. Oh geez, we are really close to the male again. Yeah, like, I would be willing to bet that is probably what this is. It's just a territory marker, so what else could it possibly be? Let's just check, though, just in case. Is this the same male that we know? I think we're going in the right direction? Oh no, wait a second, we're actually going away from the male. So it looks like he's closer to the edge of his territory. How did we miss him then? We were standing like right here a moment ago. Yeah, there he is. Oh, this time it's a female? But yeah, she's not a dispersal female. So I don't think we really want to interact with her, do we? Oh gosh, she is so pretty though. That dark black fur. Should we give it a try? I mean, Bumble, you have not had a very good track record interacting with your wolf brethren here. Who are you looking at? Hey, I can take a hint. I can definitely take a hint. So even if she could like potentially be swayed or something, she seemed like she was a little bit too aggressive. It did say that we need to find a wolf who has like a good temperament. Somebody who wouldn't be too aggressive to the pack, I guess. So we're still on the hunt for the perfect creature. Should we maybe try a different territory then? I wonder if maybe we've just used up all of the wolves we can possibly find out here. We'll try one more time, unless it's leading us straight back toward the female again. That might be the case. It kind of seems like after we interact with them, they disappear. But this one is awfully close to where we found her before. Well, let's see what's waiting for us, I guess. All of the markers are leading straight to this point. There she is. Yeah, that's the exact... Oh! Oh, it's the dispersal female again. Wait a second, Bumble! It's your second chance. I think it's actually the same one. She looks very, very similar. I'm not sure about this. Okay, so yeah, she is quite timid. <laughs> let's start a pack. Just go all in, Bumble. All right, let's try to be a little bit more friendly this time. Instead of, do I know you? Let's go with, hello there. Oh yeah, a nice little tail wag. Oh, she's giving us a heart. She's wagging her tail too. Doing much better this time, Bumble. Uh, should we try to play with her? Or how about I like you? Is that gonna work? Or was it too soon? Oh no. Was that too soon? Oh, two hearts now. You guys, this might actually be working. Uh, let's try playing with her. Let's play. Come on. Yeah, she likes that too. Oh, we're breaking through. Breaking past her shell. How many hearts do we have to have before we're like, let's start a pack? Well, let's try I like you again. Hopefully that's not going to be too much. We don't want to like overwhelm her. We did just meet her. Don't go away. Oh, maybe three hearts was like the max. Uh, let's be friends then. Let's try to... Oh no. Oh no. Bumble, you're losing her. Oh, I think we may have messed this up. Let's try again. Let's hang out. Oh, now she's like, you're okay. Putting us in the friend zone. Well, she told us don't go away, so let's try that too. Don't go away. We want to start a pack with you. All right, we're bringing her back now, guys. Let's try to get her up to three hearts again, and then we'll do the let's start a pack, and we'll see if hopefully she accepts. Yes, three hearts. Let's play. Let's go. We still don't know her name, though. I wonder if we'll get to name her once we bring her into our pack. Uh, yeah, let's start a pack. Are you up for it? Oh, that is adorable. Is she gonna accept? Yes, let's start a pack. Oh my gosh, you guys, we did it. We found our very first mate in a wolf quest. So, that's it, right? Let's start a pack. Now she's at four hearts, actually. Is there any more to it? Like, if we say I've got to go, is she going to follow us? Oh, jeez. 
Oh, I don't want to lose her. Well, let me try again, I guess. Let's start a pack again. Maybe we need to have a couple more hearts before she actually, like, truly accepts. Like, I'm afraid that if I do leave this menu, she is just going to wander off somewhere. Yeah, now we have five hearts. Let's start a pack. All right, is it going to work? Yes. Oh my gosh, now we actually have a mate. Okay. So it looks like Bumble is truly going to be starting a pack now. What are we going to name her, though? She's so, so pretty. She has those beautiful golden eyes just like we do. She was a little bit timid, though. So I'm actually kind of tempted to call her something like Mouse. Little Mousy. Mousy and Pumble. And our quest for a mate is complete. Congratulations! You've bonded with your mate to complete the Amethyst Mountain quest. Now your mate will be your hunting and exploration partner. Watch the rear view mirror below the compass to see where your mate is behind you if you turn away from it. You and your mate can continue to explore the Amethyst Mountain. When you're ready to pass the winter and start looking for a den for your family, go to the gateway marked by a star in your compass. Oh my gosh! So we can actually start a family together now? Oh, that is wonderful! Oh, she is so cute. I just realized she has like socks too. Those big white socks. That is adorable. So this direction is toward the gateway. But I mean, I feel like we should get our bearings with her first. See how she does hunting, of course. Yeah, maybe we should go toward the elk hunting grounds again yeah, and just see how she does. That way we'll know if we made the right choice. We'll go back toward this one since it was so much easier to actually see the elk. And I'm sure that she would probably agree. Oh, she is ready and raring to go. She is so much faster than we are. That's a pretty good sign. It's gonna mean good things for our future pups. Do you see the elk yet, though? We're super close to getting to the hunting ground, but I don't think they've spawned in yet. Unless maybe they're actually in the trees this time. Yeah, let's see if we can hunt them down together. Do you think she's pretty good at sniffing? Oh, it looks like she actually... Yeah, she leaves a little trail behind her, so we can see Mousy's trail just in case we end up losing her. We probably shouldn't though, like I can see that heart on the compass, so it should be pretty easy to keep track of her. But yeah, let's see if we can find the heart. The music has changed, so they must be around here somewhere. Aha, there they are. Ooh, they look even more majestic than I remember. wonder if they've strengthened their numbers any. Well, are you ready, Mousy? Let's go charging straight in and see if we can take one of them down. It looks like this one would be a pretty good target for us. Yeah, she's pretty weak already. So, is our mate actually going to help us? Yes! Oh my gosh! She came out of nowhere and took a nice big chunk. I hope she's going to be okay, though. I mean, it doesn't seem like she's going to rest any. Take a break if you need it, okay, Mouse? I don't want you to get too hurt. Can we see her health? Oh, I wonder if she's getting, like, kicked by these things. We're gonna have to be very, very careful. We'll try to, oh, jeez, do most of the damage here so she doesn't get too hurt. Yeah, I definitely heard her getting hurt there. Oh my gosh, Mouse, are you okay? Maybe if we look at her, we can see her health or something. Well, it doesn't really seem to be working with the carcass in the way. I'm sure she's fine, though. She could take a little bit of food, too, if she wants to. So there we go. Bumble managed to find his very first mate, and I guess in the next episode we could go to that gateway that they talked about and hopefully start the next mission in our wolf quest journey. So for now, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye guys!